everyone, and welcome back to First World Traveller. This is time for the most ridiculous video I've done. Which backpacker are you? is check out. I shagged some dog rough bird last night, smashed her back doors in mate. Alright mate, you great galah. Can you want to see my straightness? So I've been backpacking, backpacking for a number of years now, about 16 years, and I've stayed in hostels for all of that time. Therefore I think I'm qualified to talk about the types of people you meet in hostels. They entertain you, they frustrate you, they drive you up the wall. I'm sure at one point or another, you have been one of these backpackers. If not, maybe more of them, I know I have. So without further ado, let's have a look at the 15 different types of backpackers you get. Keep in mind that this video will be mildly offensive and slightly racist, but this is the face of concern. Good afternoon everyone from Cowlack. I'm in my 7-Eleven t-shirt, just like a typical backpacker. I've got sea hair, so pretty much I'm ready to do this video. Right, it's time to see which backpacker you are. Here we are with number one is the Never Booker. Okay, the Never Booker. Right, the key to traveling success is booking your accommodation in advance. It's not that difficult for Christ's sake. The amount of people I see rocking up in some place in the middle of a high season like Christmas and New Year without booking any accommodation and expecting to find somewhere is ridiculous. I would much rather simply go on an app and book a hostel somewhere without having to traipse around with a massive backpack looking for somewhere to stay. It's stupid. God gave smartphones to the dinosaurs for a reason. Use them! There's a magical app called Hostel World or Booking.com or Hostel Bookers. It's simple. Stupidity reigns galore. Number two is the skin tass. Okay, the skin tass. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Why go travelling if you have no money. The worst kind of traveller is someone that you see in a hostel and you say, oh, have you done, insert, famous trip to go on? Oh, no, I haven't done it. I'm skinned. I've got no money. Oh, what have you done then? Oh, I've just been chilling. What is the point of going travelling if you do not do anything in those countries? Stupidity again! Number three is the party boy Aussie. Let's have a two each and throw our shrimp on the barbie, mate. Our Stuart. Now, I love Australia, I love Australian people, but in every hostel, without fail, you will get the party boy Aussie who's drinking some Tui's or some VB or whatever, and it's all about, I'll oh, stop the Australian accent now, it's all about partying and getting drunk all the time. For me, travelling is not just about getting drunk all the time, you can do that in Magaluf. I'm not being racist against Australians, I love Australia, but yeah, party boy Aussies, good day, mate. Number four is a drunken pissing English lad. Who are ya? Right, this is a classic one. Again, you get these in every hostel without fail. Usually a Cockney lad from East London or somewhere like that who likes going to Benidorm on holiday. Maybe they're a bit of a chav, drinking Fosters, drinking Stella, shacking some birds, getting gonorrhea. They'll, they'll be the ones that go out every night, get totally wasted, puke up, in the middle of shagging some bird and then go back to shagger, finish the job, happy days, and all his mates applaud him. Hey, who are ya? Who, who ate all the pie? And I'm from London, but I'm not like that. Number five is the wasted girl. Oh fuck shit, bollocks! Yes, the wasted girl who is normally English or American. The one that is blonde, she has the hair straighteners, she has the Smyrnaf ice, she likes getting iced. Apparently is that where, is where you download a smell of ice or something, I don't know. And she's the one that most likely gets screwed by the previous person, the shagging English pissing lad, who will most likely piss on her in the dorm bed. Once again, she experiences nothing of her trip apart from getting shagged and probably getting chlamydia. When in Rome. Number six is the overly friendly travel know-it-all. Oh my god, there's always one of these in every hostel. You can always hear them before you see them because they talk ridiculously loudly and they're always talking about their amazing travel trips they've been on before and the fact that they've been everywhere and that they know everything. Usually they have a piercing in their ear or their nose and lots of tattoos. Yes, 
and basically you just want to punch them in the face but you obviously have to be nice and pretend that you're interested in all the places they've been to when really you couldn't give a fuck. Number seven is the Virgin Backpacker. Hold on while I just do a selfie, find my straighteners and FaceTime my mum. Virgin Backpackers Everyone was a virgin backpacker once. I was a virgin backpacker when I was 19 and I was a complete and utter twat. Absolute dickhead who didn't have a clue what he was doing. You know, rocking up in some country, acting like a tourist, getting mugged, a complete knobhead. And you always get the ones, they're about 18, 19, usually called Katie or Alice. And they have to FaceTime their mum every day to let them know that they're alive. They have a big backpack. Maybe they have a bum bag, which we'll come onto, them, on, onto in a second. They're the ones that after two days they get homesick and they want to go home back to their mummy and daddy uh, and their university funds. Number eight is Bum Bag Boy. Have you seen my bum bag? Oh fuck, I've been mugged. Right, Bum Bag Boy. Similarly with the last one, this is a male version. The one that is 18 uh, is doing a degree in, I don't know, some load of bollocks that's not going to help them whatsoever in real life. His mum has bought him a bum bag to put his valuables in when he's out and about. So all his money, his traveller's checks, do they still exist? Passport, etc, etc. Um, but really, having a bum bag makes you look like a complete prick. And actually, if I was a local heroin addict, as you do, um, and I saw someone without a bum bag, and I saw someone with a bum bag, guess which one? I am going to stab in the face and steal all their stuff. It's the one with the bum bag. What a shock. Number nine is the old eye roller. Look at these stupid backpackers. Oh my god, this is literally me right now. Or especially when I go to a party hostel. And now I'm old and I used to go to party hostels. And you see all the people that are pissed and wasted and not experienced in anything about their trip. You're just the one that sits in the top bunk rolling your eyes like Robert Downey Jr. in that meme. Classic. Yeah, that is me right now. Yes! Number 10 is the no concept of others Indian. What time is checkout? Let me just make as much noise as possible and wake everyone up. Ah! Right, I actually have first-hand experience of this one. When I was in Rio in 2009, there was a group, and it's always a group, there's always a group of Indian or Sri Lankan men and women who are most likely doing an MBA at Hyderabad University. Excuse the racism. They will wake up at four o'clock in the morning when everyone's trying to sleep. They'll start rustling plastic bags. They'll start banging around with shower gel and things like that. They'll start talking to their friends in loud, their own language. When is checkout? When is checkout? Just shut the fuck up. I'm trying to sleep. And the worst thing is also they nick all the free breakfasts. Maybe this was just one um, example of this happening to me. But yeah, there's always a group. Number 11 is I've been here for a week, but I still haven't been to the viewpoint girl. Right, this one is always a female. She's been in, insert name of city, for maybe two weeks. Maybe there is an obligatory site that everyone sees when they go to this place, usually either a viewpoint or a waterfall. Yet, even though she's been there two weeks, she hasn't been there yet and she's left everything until the last day. What a twat. Instead of getting pissed all the time and shagging number three and number four type of backpacker, maybe you should plan your trip and do things while you're traveling because that is what traveling is about, you stupid cow. Sort your life out, love. Number 12 is my personal favorite. It's never change clothes, man. Jesus Christ, I stink. Right, out of all the 15, I think this has to be the worst. I understand that you might have a small backpack with minimal clothes in. However, there is no excuse to be wearing the same burgundy top for two weeks on end, day and night. You go hiking in it in the day. You go drinking it in the evening. You sleep in it all night. Get up the next day, don't have a shower, and wear the same top. Two weeks later, on Facebook, after you've added this no clothes person, you see that they're still wearing the same top. What on earth are these people thinking? What world are they living in do they, where they think it's acceptable to wear the same clothes endlessly? You fucking stink, mate. Change your top. Number 13 is always on laptop guy. Sorry, can you go away? I'm on my laptop. Right, laptop guy is normally Japanese or South Korean. 
and they are always doing some endless thing on their laptop, seemingly for 24 hours a day and not sleeping. No idea what they're doing. However, this ties into library person as well, because this isn't one of the 15, but I'm adding it on. So, I went travelling once with some people who, while I did everything, while I drove the van, while I did all the trip planning, they were reading books. Why go travelling to read books? You can do that in a fucking library. If you want to do that, you can fuck off. Number 14 is Penang for a month, guy. Why a month? Oh my god. So this is about people that go to totally crap places where there's nothing to do, yet they stay there for a month. What a total waste of time, you absolute knob jockey. When I was in Malaysia a few weeks ago, there was a guy who stayed in Penang for a month. There was literally nothing in Penang apart from nothing. There is literally nothing in Penang. It is crap, rubbish and shit. Here's a tip. Stay in places where there's lots of things to do for the longest time possible. And if you come across somewhere that is a load of bollocks, get the fuck out of there as soon as possible. Simple as that. Number 15 is me. Yeah, the best of the lot, mate. Yes, number 15 is me. First world traveller. What can you say? So I hope you've enjoyed my silly little video taking the piss out of every kind of backpacker you meet. Why don't you write in the comments below which one you are, or maybe you've been some of those in the past. I definitely have been probably all of those people in the past, so actually, before you start saying, oh, he's taking the piss out of everyone, I'm taking the piss out of myself. It's time to get my humour, you twats. If you like this video, make sure you do the usual stuff. Subscribe to my channel, which is up there, or you can check out my Thailand playlist, which is currently filming at the moment, by clicking up there. Have a wonderful day. I'll catch you later. What time is check out?